guys and welcome and today I'll be showing you a, another gun I have made on my channel actually the first one I ever made and here here we have the Puppeshoff 41 This weapon, you're probably wondering why would I make keep on making these bigger weapons? Well, actually, because I really like the details I have made in the weapons. Since they're bigger, I can add much more details into the weapon. So, pretty much a question answered. And so, I'm talking actually the history about the weapon. So, the weapon's history was actually this weapon was made and used by the Soviets or the Russians during World War II, the fight against the Nazis or Germans, however you want to call them. So this weapon was really effective in the battle of, the really famous battle of Stalingrad because it's a huge city and it's pretty much close quarters combat. So, so this is a pretty nice weapon for have cl in close quarters. But they did really like to use snipers. But this is not a sniper rifle video. This is a video about a submachine gun I've made. So, sorry. But I will maybe do some videos about that later. And so that's pretty much it about the history. So we're going to talk about the details in the weapon. So like the details of the... You can see these Technic Axle I put in the front. They repli replicate the, the, the pattern that makes the bullet go completely straight. And I used, right here, I used some axles, not, not axles, Technic bricks for the heat shield for the barrel, for you don't overheat the barrel. For it, for it or it doesn't burn, yeah. I, I was going to use just plain old bricks, but I realized that's not gonna look like a puppet shop, so I decided to use these pieces because they look perfect on the weapon. And here we have the rear iron sights, right here. Really nice, just simple. Let's go over here. Here we have the place where the magazine goes. I left one stud where it can be easier to take out the magazine. Right here, little groove right here. Okay. This is where the rubber band is. Let me pull back the bolt. And right here we have the bolt. You can see I just took the my bolt from my AK I have made. Um, just like quite a while and just reused it. And I actually just took out the me mechanism for my AK and used it on my puppet shop. It's pretty simple. I think I'm going to keep on using this mechanism for my guns for now until for forever, actually, probably forever. So now we go to the rear iron sights right here. So if we can look down the sights, really nice goes with it perfectly. And if we go over here in the wood, it was like the real version of the weapon. Wood, wood grip right here. This, the, the, what do you call it? The wood that actually goes under the bolt. And here we have the trigger and the safety switch. The trigger doesn't, sadly, doesn't move. So I tried though. And here we have the safety switch that also doesn't move, but it looks just like the real version of the weapon. And you see I used some tape here because the weapon was too weak. So if you're going to make yourself your own version, just have some tape around because you definitely need it. So here we have the stock. It's just five studs long. Um, long. I've stood long and it's pretty simple. And I use some of these roof tile pieces for the grip for the weapon. 
very simple. And I think that's pretty much it about the weapon. So we're gonna go into the magazine. So the magazine is a banana magazine, or however you wanna call it, stick magazine. Doesn't really matter, it's a magazine, right? I think it holds about the 30 to 32 rounds in the weapon, which is quite a lot for the weapon, actually quite a lot for a magazine. So I use some, what is this, the one by two bricks right here, and some tape to hold it together to be strong, and technically use the same style for my AK, but I made it a little bit longer and not really curved a lot. So if we take the weapon, put it right there, it's perfectly right there. And I know you guys really want to see the drum magazine, but sadly I couldn't make a drum magazine, but I'm sorry for you guys. Okay, I'm just kidding, bruh. I totally making this drum, it came off great. I'm making this drum magazine, seriously. You think it could be called a Russian weapon if it doesn't have a drum magazine? Man, this weapon, such a manly weapon with this drum magazine on. It's actually really heavy, which I can't, it's pretty risky to hold it one-handed like this, so I just keep my hand on the drum magazine at all times when I'm holding the weapon. And it looks really nice when you hold it. It's pretty heavy, makes the heavy 10 times heavier than the usual, which is really heavy, so I'm gonna take it off for now. Just take off the magazines. And I'm gonna teach you the mechanism if you're a new person for my channel, if you wanna know how the mechanism works, so. So I use this Technic pins for it right here to hold this part to cover the bolt and right here there's an axle called the rubber band you probably won't have this rubber band because these rubber bands is actually Lego brand rubber bands because I make my stuff Lego you know what I mean and I use the, that that special piece for my rubber band for holds on that and that's pretty much it for this weapon i think i'm finished actually so i really hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and comment what gun i should make next but until then i'll see you comrades in the battlefield